beautiful maitake, Grafola frondosa. It's a perfect time to harvest it as well. Growing on a dead oak. It's very exciting. And sometimes when you find one, you go around the corner and you find another. This is maitake, hen of the woods, Grafola frondosa. Lighting is a little hard to see but they can be different colors. This one's actually, actually a really dark one. It's, it's a very dark brown, and it kind of fades a little bit to gray, uh, but they can be even lighter. Like I've seen some that are almost like whitish tan on top, so they have different variations of color, usually somewhere between white, tan, brown spectrum. This is in the polypore family, well, there's a big slug in there. Yeah, one thing about, there's definitely slugs and bugs that can live in them and spiders. That's okay, they're part of nature and we're harvesting something from nature, so. Um, but this is in the polypore family. A bunch of tiny white pores underneath here. This is an identifying feature. And you see how it grows in a big cluster. I've already kind of ripped part of this open. This is actually part of the bigger mushroom, okay, but they come apart pretty easy. And they're called hen of the woods because it looks like a hen's tail. And so what I am doing here is I am separating them apart. Uh, you can clean these and I do actually recommend that you clean these just because these grow on the ground at the base of dead or dying oak trees and it can be very dirty there. And particularly if it rains, you know, things can wash up. And like I already showed you, there can be bugs and slugs. Um, and because these are a particularly hardy mushroom, you can wash them and they will be fine. Um, they won't like uh, destroy them. Some mushrooms that are more delicate, if you wash them with water, they will become mush, okay? So I definitely recommend washing these and then you can stir fry them. They're so versatile. Um, I put them in pasta dishes. Uh, you can make them in soups. That's what I'm gonna, about to make here. I'm gonna make another wild mushroom soup. All right, got some of my ingredients all ready to go. Uh, but it is one of my favorite tasting mushrooms that you can find in the wild. It only grows in the fall, usually uh, September, October when the, the temps are cool at night and, and still warmer during the day. And yeah, they will grow in abundance and you wanna look for oak trees, dead or dying oak trees because it is a saprophytic fungi, okay? Which means it grows off of uh, dead wood, okay? And when I say off of, I mean around dead wood because you're only gonna find it on the ground at the base of an oak tree. Okay. And as you see their colors, they can look very much like leaves. So sometimes it can be kind of hard to spot them, but you want to look kind of in the nooks uh, at the base of the roots of the trees. Okay. So I'm going to continue to cut these up. And one thing that I do too, is you see like the, the base here, this part is very tough, right? So you're not going to really eat this bottom part that's really tough. So I tend to like either cut or you can like kind of rip this part off. All right, and this part, because it's really tough, what I do is I dehydrate this and I use it for tincture, okay? And then I eat this part, okay? These also, this part also dehydrates really well and rehydrates really well. So that's, that's how I usually preserve them. Um, I, you can also parboil them um, or you know blanch them, fry them and freeze them. I've also heard of people preserving them in water, like canning them or putting them like in an oil, um, canning them that way and keeping them in the fridge. So there's so many different things you can do with maitake, also known as Hen of the Woods. Grafola frondosa is a Latin name. So get out and find your hens. Happy foraging and enjoy this wonderful time of year. I love the fall. It's uh, beautiful.